New at 10, refugees from Afghanistan are already arriving here in Kansas City, but that number is expected to grow, and a few local organizations tell us they're here to help. Reporter Leslie Dellisboer talked with the organizations lending a helping hand to tell us what these families need and how you can help. I think we consider ourselves friends of the refugees, which means there is no um, limitation to what we do for them. Going above and beyond is the goal for KC for Refugees founder Dr. Sophia Khan as she prepares to help welcome refugees who have escaped experiences in Afghanistan that might be hard to imagine. They have been through a lot of fear of being persecuted by the Taliban and their families who are left behind could be persecuted as well if they uh, know that this person has left the country. So they are very careful about their identity. Gathering more than just clothes, toiletries, and food, KC for refugees and others are working to give those from Afghanistan a warm welcome. So if immediately, for example, a family comes and they have no status, they have no money, we should be able to find housing for them and be able to pay their rent for three to six months before they get a job, uh, their job permit is ready, their social security number is ready, and before they can start money, making money for themselves. But Dr. Khan says she can't do it alone and has reached out to the Islamic Circle of North America here in Kansas City to help give refugees what they need, clothes, food, and possibly a place to stay. Everything is free for them, utilities, and it, nothing they have to pay. So we will work on finding a job. Depends on what situation they are coming from. And so we get toilet paper, um, soap, that's what I do, soap, and sanitizer wipes, masks. Although there may be many challenges, Dr. Khan is asking all of Kansas City and surrounding areas to open their arms and hearts to people who need it the most. We are going to deal with anybody f from like a cab driver all the way to physicians and lawyers and doctors from uh, Afghanistan. So we have to see that there's going to be a wide spectrum of education and uh, backgrounds of these people. In Kansas City, Leslie Dellisbor, KSHB 41 News.